Welcome back to the channel people, uh, another shot today, uh, we're keeping it coming, uh, obviously the new notice that popped out this morning, you see my previous video, incredibly generous of Square Enix for dropping that in, that, that's fantastic, this is basically just going to be a, a quick overview of the weapon, uh, I did level it up to get it evolved and you'll see what I've done with it and we'll basically see what sort of tier this weapon's going to sit in. So if we check it out, yeah, I've got it already equipped in my secondary here. Um, firstly, I'll just kind of show you the passives of the other two-handed weapons that I've seen going about. I know there's a Chaos uh, Umbrella, but ain't pulled that yet, so... Um... Oh, actually, let's make it easier for ourselves. Go into here. And so this was the original light weapon that I was using. Uh, obviously I was considering this weapon more of a passive, so this brings your attack up as well. But two main skills, attack down and defense up. So you see here, increases defense by 8% for 10 seconds and decreases attack. Which is alright, I guess. Um, nothing too major. Uh, obviously boosts your defense on your third skill. This is our main weapon. Uh, defense up attack uh, by up to 20% for 60 seconds. Those, the, the, the attack up for 60 seconds is good for 60 seconds. If you're in a battle, uh, even more so a boss battle, and it goes over the 60 seconds, th that is then irrelevant. Like It's totally irrelevant. It's not going to do anything for you. So it's time-gated. That's what I don't like about it. Uh, and finally, the weapon that I have just worked on this is why I've shot for it. As you've seen, I have max ascended it. Why? Because I will never run two two-handed weapon characters. I'm always going to have two short swords that boost up some high combos or demos at the moment for helping with the, the boss battles with the blind. So yeah, that's why I've fully ascended it. I've went against the, the golden rule, don't ascend using other weapons, but this one was free, farmable, and I am very confident I am never going to use two two-handed weapon characters in the same lineup. So anyway, let's see what sort of skills this has. Agility up, really big for a two-handed character. The agility, the base agility is generically really low, so uh, a weapon skill to get that up, absolutely fantastic. Means you go ahead of the enemies, because right now, my 2B and Demos will go before, then likely I'll be cutting before uh, A2 gets to use her first skill, so big help there. Uh, there you go, so this is the same as the other that I showed you uh, boost attack for 10 seconds which is pretty good on a weapon skill especially if you manage to get another weapon that maybe got a, a cooldown passive if there is one out there but yeah, so every time you uses this skill boost your attack for 10 seconds not too bad uh, your defence up and can't show you the passive because it's max yeah, there you go. I maxed out the skill, so I think that's a big enough. So here it is. Here's the passive. Straight up 10% attack, not time gated. So 10% every fight, the whole fight. For me, just because of that passive and the, the sort of small scope that we have on two handed weapons, in my opinion, S tier straight up. Definitely farm it, definitely evolve it, get it up to five stars. And then you can make the decision whether or not you're going to ascend it. Um, you know the rule. I've said it umpteen times, but I'll leave that one down to you. Uh, if you disagree and you don't think it's S tier, bang in the comments, let me know why. But for me personally, the best two-handed that I have at the moment, purely because of that passive. So yeah, just a quick one there, guys. Uh, hope you agree. Uh, I would like to see the comments if you don't agree. And... Make sure, bang that sub button, uh, trying to push the numbers up a little bit, going to keep pushing out the content, and until next time, see ya!